That's absolutely right, Laura. We had suspicions that these strikes likely hit something explosive on the ground because there were a number of different secondary explosions coming from these videos of the scene right after those strikes happened in the Razia area. This is very near Sidon. It's just less than 30 miles from the Lebanese capital of Beirut. It is one of the furthest north that the IDF has struck inside Lebanese territory since the beginning of these tensions across the border on October 8th when the IDF then confirming that there was striking Hezbollah weapons warehouses. These warehouses were were, according to his Lebanese media, located in two factories in this area. The IDF striking very powerfully there and also doing a number of other strikes throughout the day inside southern Lebanon. Today, many of these strikes were concentrated in the Adisa area. This is an area closer to the Israel-Lebanon border, but we do have a number of different attacks from throughout the day. Israel continuing to strike numerous different Hezbollah targets, saying they hit Hezbollah infrastructure, but clearly this was a large depot that was hit in the Sidon area. And the IDF saying that this was in response to a drone that was launched across the border. Earlier today, the IDF said it had found a drone or what it believed to be a drone, a suspicious object in the Mount Arbel area in the lower Galilee area. This is pretty far from the border area. And then the IDF saying that it was confirmed that this was in response to a Hezbollah did send that drone over the border. So these airstrikes were in retaliation. We can also say from the, our position near the northern Israel border, we continue to hear the sounds of Israeli artillery continue to strike inside southern Lebanon in response. We also had sirens ringing out inside southern Lebanon in the past hour. We do not have any reports of damage or injuries or what exactly those launches were. But seconds after those sirens did ring out, we did hear some boom. So it's unclear if those were potentially anti-tank missiles that were once again launched from southern Lebanon towards these communities that were very lying on the Israel border where they, we have a number of Israeli military infrastructure, Israeli personnel. We continue to see Hezbollah trying to fire these anti-tank missiles at them. But as of now, we do not have any uh, reports about what exactly that was or any report from the IDF about what it was striking. There was also a dr another drone incursion alert, but that siren has since been deactivated and the threat no longer remains. Well, Mary, this is in stark contrast, isn't it, with what everybody says they uh, don't want. They don't want an escalation. The French and Americans have come up with uh, diplomatic plans to try and evade that. Um, it is all out war inevitable at this stage. It's the big question, Laura, that we continue to monitor this situation carefully. We continue to see these incidents potentially pushing either side to an escalation. Last week, we had extremely deadly airstrikes by Israeli airstrikes inside southern Lebanon. A number of civilians were killed in those Israeli strikes. There was also a Hezbollah commander who was killed in that targeted assassination that Israel did admit that it carried out. It did not comment on the civilian deaths. But the head of Hezbollah, Secretary General Hassan Nasrallah, last week on Friday in yet another speech addressing the situation, here saying that Israel will pay in blood for these continued strikes across the border. Israel continues to mean that it will continue to retaliate against any threat that is coming on either of its borders, whether it's the north, south, whether it is in Syria. We continue to see Israeli strikes throughout the region, but we're also hearing not just warnings coming from Hezbollah that suggest maybe an all-out war might be inevitable. We've also heard this messaging coming from Israeli officials in the past couple of weeks, especially the military commanders in this area continuing to tell troops here to be on guard to be ready to potentially go into action, but not specifying exactly what that action is. We can also say Hezbollah, we know from reports this week, the Washington Post reported citing Lebanese officials and Iraqi officials that Iran has apparently been trying to put the pressure on these groups to try and prevent a full out war from escalating, saying that a full out war in this region, in this area would actually do more favor to Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu. So seemingly tying the political situation into all of this, but apparently trying to temper down the escalations here and trying to say wants Hezbollah to continue attacking, but to be very careful in their attacks to try not to push Israel to try and do a full out response and lead us into a full out war for now it seems that neither side is willing for that to be the situation.